Okay, now we're going to uh, look at pivot and pivot by core region. So, Justin, if you could go to the very, we'll start with a low core. You uh, saw how posture is set by the by the uh, center of gravity. So, Justin's going to go to low core and put that clip across your thighs, if you would. And now, when you pivot from here, I want you to notice the point of the pivot. So, go ahead and set and pivot. But notice Justin is more over that right side. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. So he's over the right side. Your pivot in a low core is going to be on the right side. Now, I want to show you what happens, though, if we talked about the importance of holding the, the, the angle, the knee flex, in the right side. So, Justin, this time, don't hold your right knee flex and pivot. Let your right knee straighten. And now his pivot point goes to the left. Something that you're going to fight through the swing. Uh, and you're going to tend to come back. You'll notice that the upper core players pivot around the left side. So straightening that right leg for upper core players, as you'll see, is not an issue. But it is for mid and low. Let's show the low one more time. Low core, navel to pelvic floor. And you'll notice Justin holds his knee flex and he really pivots over that right side. <clears throat> now we're going to go to mid core, 17 and a half. Again, you want to hold your knee flex, and you'll notice where the pivot point goes from here. And go ahead and pivot, center. So Justin's pivoting right around the center. If you think about the middle of the pelvis, rotating right around the center. Now, we're going to do that one more, two more times. This time, I want you to straighten your right knee. Again, <clears throat> as he's pivoting, he's going to straighten that right knee and look where his weight goes. He's going to pivot every time around that left side, not something a middle core or a low player, low core player wants to do. And one more time, mid core, navel to just below the pecs is the mid core, and you'll see how centered he is. As he Great. Okay. Now let's take a look at upper core <clears throat> in 16 and a half there, right? So go ahead and get set. And he's going to hold the knee flex. Even with the upper core, you can, but you don't have to. And now rotate. And you'll see immediately, and as you've seen from the, the still shots, all upper core players who stay in their posture or stand up are going to pivot around that left side as Justin is. And we'll talk about, we've talked about in the school how you need to create space for that upper core player. And this time go ahead and straighten your right, right knee. And even if he strains his right knee, he still goes left. He's going to have to create a little more space here because he's dropping down a little more. Uh, you saw a photo of Lee Westwood who does this, who's an upper core player. So, <clears throat> lower core, navel to pelvic floor. You're going to pivot around the right side. You want to work in your drills on holding that knee flex if you're going to find your power from that position. Middle core player, navel to just below the pecs, torso region, pivots around the center. As center of gravity moves, this is what's creating these changes. This is what's creating the pivot point. Low core player, the center of gravity is down, navel to pelvic floor. You're going to pivot around that right side. As the center of gravity comes up, a little forward tilt, you're going to go left. So your pivot point is around the left hip. So we have a different pivot point for every core region depending on your stance width. Your stance width sets it over. 